What's going on, everybody? Crispy Divine Central Mass Vapors here. And yes, Sad Clown is not turning his frown upside down today. And I will tell you why. Yes, sir, I will. And I know I'm normally happy go lucky, and I was eager to talk about vaping and all that good stuff. And I'm not going to bitch or anything, but I'm going to give you guys how it is. I'll cry. So, today was like the best day when I woke up because I was awaiting um, vape mail, right? And it wasn't like just an average vape mail where I'm waiting for like one thing. I had three fucking shipments, okay? All three of them coming in. So, yeah, I know. I can hear you guys gasping like, oh, like the best day ever, right? Well... Needless to say, first off, I had to wait, like, because where I moved, the fucking mail doesn't come until, like, 4 o'clock, and even when I got home at 5, it still wasn't here, so that was a bummer, but it came, whatever, so I was all excited, I sit down and I start to open stuff, and let me just tell you what I ordered, okay, or what I had coming, I should say. Number one, I had two Anarchist uh, mods coming from... Uh, North Star Vaping Group Buys, okay? And I gotta tell you, these two look pretty sick, okay? They're really, really slick. Um, I'm feeling like I have, like, entered a twilight zone of sorts because I am having a problem getting them to fire. I know it's probably a simple thing that I'm overlooking, and I feel like a complete noob on this stuff. I have never had this much trouble with mods, but for the, whatever reason, my eBay thing that I am sure you guys have seen me bitching about um that was a total fuck up but i talked to the guy in new jersey and he was such a cool guy he's like i'm so sorry this happened he goes I, it was the first time he was using that company and this that and the other thing and he's sending me out a uh par a midnight paragon from Watofo. so i know that i have a good quality something or other coming and i got the plumeville rda a segeli pink segeli um cover for my 100 watt and um, I believe he's going to send me uh, an onslaught that has three different, like, things, detachments or whatever. So anyway, but, you know, I had the issue with, uh, you know, with uh, uh, Stingray 26650, the Manhattan 26650. And like he said, it was from a new clone people, so I had issues. Now, this one, I know I'm just not doing something right, okay? But... You know, I'm still frustrated, but it's it's totally not their fault. I know it's something that I'm being stupid at. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's my battery. I don't know. But whatever the case may be, I'm still working on them, but I'll have a review on it. They are beautiful. Moving on. Secondly, I have been anticipating my first dual parallel 18650 box mod from a company that I'll talk about later on, not today. Um... But another clear, you know, case of, you know, things not going the way that they should, you know, but also another situation of customer service and the person running the business handling it very well. Um, you know, there's one thing about when you're doing some business with somebody is that, you know, you can have things go wrong constantly, you know, and 90% of the time it's probably not your fault. But if you ignore the person or if you get bitchy with them or all that, it's going to make for an even worse situation. But if you are patient and you let the people have what they you know, need to say, you know, you listen to them, you answer them back, you answer questions, you keep them updated, then it can make for a very pleasurable experience even when it's not the perfect situation, okay? And that's what happened here. You know, circumstances happened, it pushed out the ETA, it's a new, you know, business. So, I mean, like, it was just a lot of things that I could totally understand. Now, if the guy was a complete dick about it, I couldn't understand it. But because he was really open and honest and everything like that, I'm cool with it. So, me getting the box, uh, though it isn't exactly what I wanted or want, it's still something for now and it's you know it's a work in progress so i'm okay with the situation as of right now he did make it make it good with me and he didn't do anything wrong so whatever i'm just trying not to paint a bad picture about this guy because so far i'm really happy with him um but either way though i'm happy with what i got it's still not exactly what i wanted but moving on 
thirdly, I need a vape for this one. I need another one. Okay. So thirdly, as we all know in the vaping community, we have what we call the juice of the month clubs, okay? We got Zample Box, we got um, Zodist, we have Drip Club, okay? There's, there's plenty more, okay? Um, currently, I've only tried Zample Box, which, if any of you people know me, <laughs> I've had some irritations with Zample Box, and I've actually had a very personal thing happen to me with Zample Box but not directly with sample box with like a friend through I mean, whatever that's a long story but it's kind of a touchy subject but i repeatedly give sample box more and more tries because one i always think that at some point it's just going to be what i love and two there is something about the company that i want to like you know and with this last box that i got though it wasn't I mean, the juice that I got was whatever. It wasn't anything that I like. And that's not their fault. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a picky-ass mofazo. You know, I am. I mean, I have like five or six juices that I religiously vape. I try new juice all the time. And I would say 70% of the time that I try a new juice, I'm either not a fan of it or I just plain hate it. You know, so... You know, I, I'm not blaming Zample Box, but there was other situations. Maybe one day I'll just, like, spill the beans on it, but not tonight. It's not It's not about that. So, uh, there's been other, um, these other Juice of the Month clubs I've wanted to try, but one of them stood out to me the most because not only did it come with juice, but it also came with toys, like, you know, chargers and mods and, and RDAs and tanks, whatever. This company called is Vape Box. Okay, I'm sure you've heard of them vape box okay so apparently vape box started a thing called the welcome box okay and the welcome box was from what i gathered reading their thing was basically because they didn't want new people to sign up for vape box and then have to wait for the next box because it's a monthly subscription so if i ordered on april you know 30th well, April's box has already gone out, so they're not going to ship again until May, and then I would have to wait so many days to get the new box. This is what I'm assuming. So they came up with this welcome, bo welcome box, so that way when you order, you can get a box within a week, and then the next month, you'll start off on the next month with, you know, this new box, okay? So after I purchased the box, and of course I got the biggest thing it was like 64 dollars including shipping and everything i read started reading some of the reviews on it and they were people were bitching about this welcome box of course i had already paid and i was like you know what screw it i'm gonna freaking do it okay well i just got it in the mail and what my package was supposed to be was five bottles of juice that equaled it was like either five bottles of juice or a hundred and some odd mill some milliliters two accessories meaning to uh, like an RDA and a mod or a charger and a mod, whatever. And um, so that's what I was supposed to get. Well, I got it in the mail today. And guess what? I got four bottles of juice and I got one thing. I'm like so beyond upset, okay? And I'm trying to think like, did I just... Like, it's almost like they gave me the one down, like the middle. I think the first thing is three juices, the second one is four juices and an, and an accessory, and the, sec the last one that I ordered is five juices and an accessory. So from what I'm seeing, it looks like they gave me the one down. So I'm kind of irritated, and I think that I need to give up on Juice of the Month Clubs because out of all the juice they gave me, I got... Cosmic Fogs Milk and Honey, which I've had a bottle of this like three times, and it's not that it's bad, it's just not something that I go crazy over. I'll definitely vape it, I think, but I'm definitely not super crazy about it. I also got a bottle of Nude Nicotine, which I've always wanted to try, and it's some fucking Tamarin OD, and I have, I vaped a little bit of it, and I was like, oh, 
And of course, they're one of the companies that don't include a dripper with the bottle, so that's kind of great. And then I got two other bottles that I've never heard of before, and they both smell like peach to me, and I hate peach. So, am I being a bitchy vapor right now, or am I just completely let down, waiting for something that just did not do it for me? I had to get on here. I was going to do this crazy unboxing, but with my new apartment in shambles, still trying to clean it, uh, there's no place for me to really set up, and this is the only place that I feel like at least works a little bit. So, anywho, um, coming up is going to be uh, some shooting tonight. Amanda's in the his house. And uh, she's going to sit in on some uh, stuff with me and, um, I don't know, make me laugh, people, because I'm kind of sad. Anywho, I'll leave you with a vape that is out of my box that we'll talk about some other time. But, oh, and the atomizer, this is another funny thing, one last thing. I got another Plumeville, okay, thank you. I bought a Plumeville, which was a dramatic thing from Voltage Vapor out of Texas. Whatever, I still got it. They gave me free juice and free stuff. And I didn't even bitch about it, so they just did it, which was good. Okay, so I'm not I'm not giving them shit, but I bought that one. Then I got a 26650 Plumeville with one of the mods, the fucking Manhattan. And then I'm getting another 26650 Plumeville with my Notorious mod from, uh, you know, uh, North Star. So I'm going to have like four of them. <laughs> Luckily, Amanda's my homegirl and she gets, you know, the extra stuff or, you know, she gets the ones that, you know, or we order them together. Like we're waiting on the Orchid V4 and all that crap, whatever. So anyway, peace out. I love you. Thank you for listening to me complain. Comment below. Make me laugh. Um, and I'm going to, I promise you tonight, I am going to post the 300 subscriber giveaway and i promise i'll do it tonight and post it tonight i promise okay